Whoa! Hey guys, James here. And I know what you're saying. Hey James, why do you have black hair now? Well, it's actually kind of a funny story. Well, not really. But without further ado, here's my story on why I have black hair now. Roll it. Hey guys, James here. And oh, yes, I'm in Brooklyn, and this room has crazy reverb. You wanna know why? It's because there's nothing in it, you see? And I'm wearing my Forever Little t-shirt today. And today uh, is um, haircut day, or hair dye day. I don't know. I'm sitting on the floor on my knees, because I'm like about to give a blowjob. Oh, no, just kidding. I'm so hyper right now, but I didn't have coffee. This is weird. So right now, I'm about to go to one of my old neighborhoods, Bensonhurst, 86th Street, to either get my hair dyed or cut. I do not know. Um, gotta see how much it costs, because I only have 50 bucks on me right now. So I usually do my hair before I go anywhere, as far as like hair dyeing goes or hair cutting goes. You know, to save money, because you know, if your hair's all plick, because my hair's usually wavy, and for them to cut around all that and get all wet, it costs more money. So I'm saving money right now, because I'm a cheap fuck. So right now, I'm gonna go get my hair dyed, because that's originally what I wanted. I wanna dye it black, because right now it's like blondish brown, and uh, this is the part where uh, I sing a song from Onision. Hello, I'm Jake, and today, today! I'm gonna dye my hair. Dye my hair. Dye my hair. Dye my hair. I'm gonna dye my hair. But not really, some Asian chick is probably gonna do it. So let's go! Get my hair dyed today. I don't understand you today. What? Okay. I'm getting my hair dyed today. It's gonna be black. Are you excited for me? <laughs> no. Well, I'm not sitting next to you on the train. I'm getting my hair dyed by Asian people today. Just want to let everyone know that Asians rule. When it comes to hair, that guy knows what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get off the train. So now I'm off the train! <laughs> Which probably wasn't a good idea because it's 10 degrees out today. I should have I should have hopped in another cart. That would have been the uh, the wise thing to do. God damn it. can do this. Okay, here we go. So there I was, walking into the place, didn't know who was gonna cut my hair. I knew for a fact it was gonna be an Asian, no doubt about that. But I was there, I was you know, confident about myself, I was sitting in the chair, waiting for my new hairdo, and then the process begun. Don't. 
she put all that jizz in my hair, I was just sitting there for like 40, 50 minutes. That all went by, so I didn't know what to do, so I kind of got bored. So I did what anyone would do at a hair salon while waiting for their hair to get meh. Stare at celebrity lookalikes and freak out a little bit. So then another 20 minutes went by, and you know, I was just sitting there with the hairdo and stuff. This is starting to burn now. Ow. This hurts. I don't go to Baltimore. So after all that burning sensation in my hair because of all the hair products and shit like that, I started taking emo pics because, you know, just, just trying to pass the time. Take a look at it. So then came the moment when they had to rinse my hair. Now just so you know, I can't swim for shit, so water will always be my worst enemy. Having said that, I am not gonna show you the footage of them rinsing my hair. However, I will show you a reenactment of how it all went down. We're gonna make you both! Exactly how it happened, from what I remember. Anyway! So then I came back all the way to Pennsylvania just to show my sister my new hairdo because, you know, my sister is such a big influence when it comes to like, hair, and I always want to get her opinion on things when it comes to my hair. So, yeah, I travel all the way back here. Like, 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 like this. Show the footage of me coming back here. What do you think? <sighs> James, your shoes are gay, your pants are gay, let's just say your wardrobe's fucked. And now your hair? Just get out of the way. What are you getting? James, take this. What the hell? It's okay, calm down. I want you to go to the bathroom with this, kill yourself for having such gay hair. So then it came time to shower. Um, 
You weren't supposed to see that. And just so you know, I was masturbating with a lotion. Not that dry hand shit. And just so you know, the product I was using to nah was Tresemme. Tresemme. And then after that, it came time to straighten my hair. Which burns like a motherfucker. <laughs> Ow. So after all was said and done, it came down to the most important moment of all time. Epic Bieber flip dance time party. And that, my lovely penguins, is the story of how I got my hair dyed. So thanks for coming on this adventure with me, guys. I want to give props to my sister and my brother for helping me film and star in a video. And I also want to give props to that Asian lady who did my hair. Thanks, Asian lady. You rock. Okay, that was fucked up. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to add me on Uvu, Skype, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff in the dubs down below. And, uh, I still love this band. Oh, my God. And, uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Hide my shame. <laughs>